casually got stabbed. It's a very, very common thing in Scotland. It was actually really fucking bad here for a very long time. It got to the point where if you got caught with a knife, it was six months mandatory sentence. Like, no ifs, no buts, six months. That's and then the pri- and then the oh. prisons filled up really fucking quickly and they had to, like, dial that back. I have a question. But yeah, we, we were the murder capital of Western Europe for when fucking When they say decades, no knife, yeah. does that apply to shorter knives and multi-tools and stuff? Like You, you can be arrested for having a multi-tool, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That... Yeah, that's really bonkers. What if you I carry a multi-tool so there, was a, there was a guy in Aberdeen that got arrested for having a potato peeler. Google it. Google it. Like, yeah. It's the I, thing is, see, see, if you're, see if you're fishing or hunting or camping, it's then down to the police officer's discretion. Like, without can, moving my chair, I can reach five knives and three axes. Well, keep them there and you won't have any <laughs> problems. <laughs> you won't have the Scottish authorities it, breathing them in. It's weird to me that, that like, that they have laws against just like sharpened edges, like that's crazy. We have it's them because here, we, it's because we don't, walk we don't the streets have, with a yeah. with a blade, and they don't have a constitution, right? I have a multi tool in my pocket always. Yeah, oh, no, that's a, that's a big that, difference. Yeah. Like, like I, don't we yeah. have like a three inch limit on the blade that we can you can carry? It's or something like I have three and a half in my head, but I'm low confidence. Yeah, it, that's interesting though because there's constitutional carry of uh, firearms in so many places where you can just strap that bitch on your hip. Does it pertain to swords? Can I throw a katana on my back? Absolutely, you can. Yeah. Mm, sure. The one yeah. question I got wrong on my concealed carry was sure. that it enables me to carry knives. It doesn't. Oh, I thought you could just carry knives and like by default. I'm going by that. You uh, know. I don't think. Or so. maybe like like special knives, like the ones that they do have limits on, like butterfly knives or those like ones that shoot out. Like I know they have laws about those, right? Why, why are uh, butterfly knives like illegal, but you could walk down the street with the big fucking like crocodile gun? You fucking it's got to be something yeah. from movies where that, that you know, it's 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 something that got legislated because somebody saw something scary in a movie. It has nothing to do uh, with the danger. You're, I, I bet you're a hundred percent right. It totally is. It's the same with switchblades, right? Every bad guy in a movie is like flick. Yeah. Like, oh, that's a bad knife. Well, bad knife. <laughs> see, see, see the see the weird thing about it is like see all these things in Scotland. You can buy them. You can mm-hmm. buy them, and you can have them in your house. The instant you leave your garden, you're breaking the law. How do you get that's it true home? Here of a lot of things. So there's that's a lot a, of things we sell here as paperweights that are just bludgeoning weapons. <laughs> and, and, like, like, like Amazon's got plenty of them. There's plenty of paperweight brass knuckles or like uh blackjacks or um what uh, mm-hmm. all sorts of little bludgeoning tools and instruments uh they're all illegal here uh see even like the spring buttons like the police use yeah. totally mm-hmm. illegal not allowed them you're not allowed pepper spray you're not allowed taser a cricket bat uh, a cricket bat for playing cricket yeah of you're course that's that. what it's for yeah, yeah of course <laughs> Well, what was it? What was it? They say, "Oh, if you keep a baseball bat in your car, also keep a mitt. Your lawyer yeah. will thank you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, like, and like, like if I ever showed up to beat somebody up with a baseball bat, I'm wearing my uniform. <laughs> 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 I got cleats on. Meanwhile, you're like 36 in. years old. You haven't played baseball in 18 years. <laughs> like, this, like, that, like that gang for the yeah, warrior. come at me, <laughs> <doesn't fit> right? <laughs> I, I'm wearing that fucking like the whole uniform to court too. It came at me once. I was playing ball. <laughs> what game you playing, sir? See, Irrelevant. See it, Irrelevant. It, it's my made-up game. <laughs> speak, speaking of weapons, because of, because there's a lot of street violence in Scotland, that's why it was like, oh, that stuff was like horrendously like illegal. You would get immediate time for it. But there was one big fight I was in because, like I said, you know, like youths, you know, we're from here. You're not from here. Mm. We don't want you here. And then the fight would start. Well, there was a fight where. There was all of us and there was all of them. Everyone's everyone always goes like, Oh, why why are you talking about shit like this on stream? This is Scotland. This is just what people did growing up. Like mm-hmm. fucking this is just the way things are here. But uh, a guy turned up to a fight with a stepladder. A little stepladder, like a little three step yeah. stepladder, and we are all laughing at him and pointing at him, going like that. What the fuck? What are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that? And of them and then we all charged in at each other. I got knocked out with a step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least, allegedly, I don't remember a fucking thing. I don't remember shit. 
Like I just remember like sort of waking up like after it and I'm sort of like uh, like body jerking around and shit like that and all my friends are going fucking hell, fucking hell man, you your head ate that fucking stepladder, man. Like you got <laughs> fucked up. I would up man, so, yeah. Gang in Scotland just like rolling in office chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Various things from the supply couple. People <laughs> going backwards. A staple. Eating, like like chicken legs, like but the bones are slightly sharp. <laughs> I do like the idea that they all have staplers <laughs> yeah. whipping them around like nunchucks. <laughs> like, like they're the jets, you know, snapping at you <laughs> with screen staplers around. I bet you can fuck somebody up with a stapler. It's just the weapon the weapon laws here are just like fucking so strict. Like firearms are just completely gone. Like none at all. It's like you get people as well that go, No, you can like get a shotgun and you can get like you can apply for a license, but like to meet the requirements it's just not possible the, the only way that you ever meet the requirements for any type of firearms like pistols full ban pistols are completely banned you're not allowed them full stop but like you can get like a deer hunting rifle or a shotgun but the the hoops and requirements you have to meet are so strict that like nobody gets it and in order to get mm. those licenses you would have to have never even breathed near a police officer in your entire life like mm. i got i got i got my uh you see even an air rifle like a little two two spring loaded like yeah. air rifle mm. you need a license for that as well and my license got rejected not for the nazi pug stuff not for the fucking fighting or anything like that but because when i was 17 i was caught drinking in the street Mm. that's so that, why my license this allows you forever from owning a hunting rifle for something that happened like 15 years prior so not not even a hunting rifle a 2-2 air rifle this thing would give a yeah. deer a slight bruise yeah. <laughs> right? it's just, uh, I mean I'm fucking... pretty sure those are in the toy section in America yeah if you shot yeah. me with that you would hurt my feelings Yeah, and then Woody would respond with a real weapon <laughs> yeah, would he be like, "That's neat." Here's my gun. Like, <laughs> well, the, the reason the reason they got banned was this happened in Glasgow. There was firefighters attending like a building that was on fire, and everyone was crowded around to watch. And some dickhead was firing an air rifle at the firefighters, but then he he hit like oh, this, he hit like this two year old boy in the head, and the oh. two year old boy ended up dying. And because of that. All air rifles absolutely banned. So basically, there was shit tons of hobbyists like all over Scotland, and it was like a pretty expensive industry. It was pulling mm -hmm. in like a few million like every year and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But now it's completely utterly shut down because, like I said, the, the hoops you need to jump through the requirements mm -hmm. like nobody could fucking meet them. But that was the plan. <laughs> like that, that was course. the plan. Like to, to take yeah. everyone's fucking guns away. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that sucks. The knife thing because they're really useful tools. Yeah, yeah like I've, got, I've got a little one I use for fishing and everything as well. But like, again, even if I'm fishing and I get caught with that knife, it's down to the officer's discretion. So I was gonna yeah. ask about that. Like, are officers like, well, this guy's clearly fishing. It's a fillet knife. It, like, so some will be complete dicks. There are yeah. a lot of our police officers are like everyone talks about like police officers on power trips in America. Ours are so much worse, and it's a lot to really? do with the. It's, it's a lot, to be a lot worse. Than what is well, worse about them? Um, <laughs> police officers in Scotland tend to be Protestants, <laughs> 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 which is us, which is us going back into that whole thing again. Yeah, and if you and if you've got an Irish last name, then you might be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but really they've, so they, they they find somebody with they find an o'malley you know in the middle of the lake he's more likely to get in trouble than uh you know smith they they deny that shit happens they deny it happens but it mm -hmm. fucking it fucking happens it happens huh well that's fucked up yeah like not not being able to have knives is so fucking <laughs> foreign and bizarre because like when yeah. i when you think about a knife like what? What list? What? Where in the list? When you just think knife, what do you, do you think stabbing someone? It's so low. You think like, yeah. <laughs> when I think, it's like, yeah. I, I keep a, a knife that would be illegal where Dank is, right near my front door, and its only purpose is boxes. Yeah, only yeah. purpose is boxes. Oh my god! Right now, I, I hardly leave bed because my leg's broken. But normally, I use my knife every day, and it's almost all on Amazon boxes. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it, something. It's just it's out. removing such a utility. Like what? 
You, yeah, sometimes and you need a knife. The concept <laughs> of a sharpened edge being illegal. I know, but the, like the concept of a sharpened edge being illegal is so weird. It's like outlawing subtraction. Like what? Yeah. No, this is cavemen figured this shit out. I don't Look know what the, you, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the laws are there, but I'm guessing that it's illegal for him to have a knife that he doesn't need for work outside his home, right? Well, you, you missed what Dank said in that, like, it's up to the cop's discretion. So if you have a As multi-tool it that you use to pull the hook out of a fish's mouth, if that cop doesn't like you, he can arrest you while you're you fishing. You shouldn't have that. that. That can kill people because then what'll happen is there'll <laughs> be the, the fucking... All of a sudden, there's, there'll be a gang called the Leathermen, and all they'll mm-hmm. do is fucking... Look, if you want to kill somebody with a Leatherman, man, you'll absolutely make it happen. A Leatherman is a sturdier knife than that green piece of shit there. But... Well, yeah. what he was saying was that if you go fishing and you have, you know what a fishing knife looks like, probably oh, yeah. the audience does too. It's mm-hmm. a special fillet thing and it, it's clearly a purpose built fishing knife. It's up to the officer's discretion. If you, this is, you're on a, you're in a rowboat in this situation, the officer yeah, might be like, no, nah, I don't think you should have that knife. It's like clearly this knife has utility for the, what I'm up to. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, sure there's going to be a repercussion for you in the legal system down the road, though, right? You'll, you'll get to the court and the judge. We'll be like, ah, oh, well, was he on a fishing boat? Yeah. Did he have fish? Yeah. Was he cleaning the fish with the knife? Yeah. I think he was, I think it's a fishing knife, officer. Yeah, but the thing is, you still get arrested and you still get fucking your, your knife confiscated and you still have to go to court and all that stuff. And that shit just shouldn't happen. Cost you money. I mean, yeah. It does, yeah. though. I mean, I got arrested for like carrying uh, that, that pistol that time. They're like, ah, your, your permit doesn't work. And it's like, you say so. I mean, you do have handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a gun also. <laughs> and you, did you have a concealed carry? Oh, yeah. I was a thousand percent legal. Yeah. I didn't know if you were open carrying or something. I was open carrying, but it doesn't matter in Georgia. Like, like I have a permit to carry a handgun. <laughs> yeah. In North and, Carolina, you don't need a permit to open carry. Unless it's changed. It could be out of date. Concealed, yes, but open, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there wasn't a distinction here at the time. Like, like. Mm. I even made that point. I was like, open carrying is the more kind way to carry. <laughs> like, 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 as far as law is concerned, I'm like, mm. I got it out here for all to see. Mm. I'm not hiding the damn thing because I don't think there's anything wrong with what I'm doing. That's what I'm implying by my actions here. Sure. I walked into a Walmart wearing a Ruger, sir. Um, <laughs> if I thought if I was up to no good, I wouldn't have been playing fucking spyro yeah. in the in the video game section with my cousin all right and you I'd wouldn't have, been... have picked a georgia walmart because you're not the only guy there with a ruger we're <laughs> in hartwell georgia okay like my odds of getting out of here are <laughs> slim yeah <laughs> if i start shooting i'm not making it past you know you know home the, 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 oh, the good old boys in the in the parking lot are gonna slay me dude you <laughs> go to a southern walmart parking lot at 11 p.m at night there's a crowd of guys out there who will gun you down <laughs> it'll be a firing squad they're, hoping, yeah. they're all in their <laughs> jacked up trucks with chew in their mouth trying to fuck some hillbilly. Yeah. And they all got part guns. of their culture and, and to be respected. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't really I'm think about a... how everyone else had one, but yeah. And in North Carolina, every so often I see someone open carry, but somehow they're able to vibe. I do this all the time. Like, mm-hmm. like especially the old guys. Yeah, even I saw young ones open carrying recently and they had this like if you have a problem, this is really a you problem. I do this every day vibe about them. And they were like 24. And I was like, OK, I don't know. I just it wasn't alarming because they didn't seem to give a fuck. No, I don't mind it at all. Um, and people try to make that a racial issue sometimes. They're like, oh, they're all about gun rights until we want one. And I'm like. I love seeing black people with guns. We want as many as an ex gun owner. (laughs) We want as as many black gun owners as we can get. We'd love for you to be part of the fun. That is gun ownership. Like, like like they're for defending your rights and y'all need y'all, y'all get your uh, rights trampled on more than anybody. You shouldn't be able to vote unless you own guns. (laughs) They've got it. You know, you're close. You're close. I have something similar where, where I can't vote or own guns. So you move those pieces around. Yeah. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can double, double negative that back into some parlay it back into voting. 